How do you respond to the stranger? What's your reaction to the person who's different from you, who, who enters your orbit, who's a bit uh, different, odd, uh, perhaps comes from a different social setting or country and does things differently? How do you respond and react to a person or people like that and how should you react? Well, that's the question we're looking at today on Holy Habitus. Thanks for joining me. And uh, we're going to be looking at Deuteronomy 10, uh, verses 17 to 19, as we continue uh, that kind of quest to, to work out how we can be a supernaturally hospitable pe people after the heart of God. So this is a description of God. It says this, For the Lord your God is God of gods and Lord of lords, the great God, mighty and awesome, who is not partial and who takes no bribe, who executes justice for the orphan and the widow, and who loves the stranger providing them with food and clothing. You shall also love the stranger, for you were strangers in the land of Egypt. Fine words there. And two rationale have been given there for why we should love the stranger. Firstly, because God loves the strangers, uh, and as his people, we should reflect his heart. And secondly, because we ourselves were strangers. And Moses is talking to the Israelites there, and they've been on the move. They, they were alien refugees in the land of Egypt, and now there are refugee people on the move in the wilderness. And, and Moses is saying, don't forget the fact that you, you were strangers in the land. So when there are strangers in your land, uh, treat them with compassion and hospitality and welcome. Treat them with love and generosity, uh, not with uh, you know, mean heartedness um, or exclusionary tactics. And this speaks to us, I think, as well. It reminds us that we ourselves were refugees. Now, in one sense, quite literally, um, in our DNA, we will be a descendants from those who were once on the move. My surname is Durant, uh, which indicates that uh, my ancestors were from the, the continent. Durant is a French uh, name. And all of us will have uh, a mixture of Saxon, Viking, Celt uh, blood or whatever, um, because we have all been refugees in the past and may one day be again. And should we should be mindful of how we treat those who come into our, our, our own orbit or our own country and treat them with compassion and respect the kind of compassion and respect that we ourselves would like to be on the receiving end of if we were in their shoes. But we were also spiritual strangers and uh, it's only through the grace and hospitality of God that we've been welcomed into his kingdom and so we should extend that same welcome, spiritually speaking, to those who are searching uh, and wandering in a spiritual wasteland. Let's be compassionate and open, it, open towards them. So this week, how can we show love to the stranger? Are we a are people who close our body language off and clique up and freeze out people in all sorts of ways? Or do we move towards people with warmth and hospitality, with open faces and warm words, offering them food and clothing if that's uh, what they need, or a cup of tea and a, uh, some warm words uh, and a friendly face if that's what they need? How can we show supernatural hospitality this week as we seek to love the stranger?